Hi and welcome to IPM Leap. In today's video lesson, we are going to discuss a concept from the chapter Permutations and Combinations. How do we find the rank of a given word when all its possible permutations are arranged in a dictionary order? As an example, we will discuss the ranks of the following words, master and success. The first word master is a case where there is no repetition of letters in the given word. So we have to find out its rank among all its possible permutations. And the second example word, which is success, is a case of permutation when there is repetition of letters. So what are you waiting for? Quickly grab a pen and a piece of paper and try out these questions. Take notes as we go along. It will help you understand the concept and apply it to similar questions when you are attempting the quant section of exams. Let's begin. Our first question is, if the letters of the word stream are permuted in all possible ways and the words thus formed are arranged as in a dictionary, then the rank of the word master is. So do you understand this question? There will be many such words when we rearrange its letters. For example, I may write S term, termas, ratsem, and the list goes on and on. So our first step should be to get an estimate of total number of words that are possible when we arrange these six letters, right? Now, six different letters can be arranged in six factorial, that is, 720 ways. How so? Because when we arrange these six letters, they together occupy six places. Let's fill them one by one. The first place can be filled in six ways because all the six letters are available for this place. Let us suppose you fill an E here. So one letter gone. Now we have five letters for the second place. Once you fill the second place, which can be done in five ways, like supposing you fill M here. Now E and M are gone. There will be four letters left and third place could be filled in four ways. This pattern continues and for the last place, there will be only one letter left. Therefore, by fundamental rule of counting, together these six places can be filled in 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is 6 factorial ways and there would be as many words possible. Remember, our required word is master. So its rank will obviously fall in the range 1 to 720. The next step is to write down the letters in alphabetical order. Because in a dictionary, the words are arranged in an alphabetical order of letters, isn't it? So master. A comes first and then we will have E followed by M and then R, S and finally T. Next, just recall how do you look up words in a dictionary. You go by the first letter, right? Before the word master, there will be all other words that start with a superior letter. All words that start with A and all words that start with E will be ranked earlier. So let us take a quick count of these words. Words starting with A, we fix letter A onto the first place, which means the first place got filled in one way. For the second place, there will be five letters available. For the third, there will be four letters and so on. The remaining five places can be filled with the remaining five letters in five factorial ways. So there are five factorial, that is 120 words that start with A. Similarly, since there is no difference between words that start with A or words that start with E, the letters A and E are similar in that respect, there will be 120 words that start with E. Now come words that start with M. But even among these words, master won't be the first. There may be other words. So we need to find how many other words that have a superior combination by alphabetical order. After M comes A. But after A, there would be 
letter E. All words starting with M A E will be ranked before master. How many of them? Well, out of the six places, first place we filled with M, one way. Second place we filled with A, one way. And third place we filled with E, again one way. So the remaining three places can be filled with the remaining three letters in three factorial, that is six ways. There are six words that start with M A E. After the six words that start with M A E, we will have the words that start with the combination M A R. How many words? Six words again. After this comes the turn of M A S. How many words will start with M A S? Six words again. But, but, master is one of them. So when we are calculating the rank of master, we should not include all six of the words that start with MAS. Rather, we should try and see only those words which start with MAS and, um, and they come prior to the word master as per dictionary. Since the letters MAS are used already, then the next turn would be that of letter E. So let us fill this fourth place with the letter E, which can be done in one way. And then the two remaining places can be filled with the two remaining letters in two factorial. That is two ways. So there will be two words that start with the combination M-A-S-E. And both will come prior to the word master. Similarly, next turn will be that of the combination M-A-S-R. Words that start with M-A-S-R will again be Two in number. Now comes the turn of must and then the remaining two letters which are E and R are already in alphabetical order. So we finally have the word master in our rankings. Let us count the total number of words that come before master. That would be 120 plus 120 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1. One for master. Because let us suppose there are seven people ahead of me in a list, then my rank is eight, isn't it? So rank of master will be sum total of these numbers, which calculates to 257. That's our answer. Next example is based on the word success, which has repeating letters. If the letters of the word success are permuted in all possible ways, and the words thus formed are arranged as in a dictionary, then the rank of the word success is. So first things first, let's have a closer look at success. This word has a total of seven letters, of which two are C's. Then there is the letter E, three letters are S, and there is the letter U. Step one remains the same. Calculate total number of words possible. Now, seven letters out of which three are same, two others are same, and two are different. They can be arranged in seven factorial upon three factorial, two factorial ways, which calculates to the value 420. Next step is to write down the letters in alphabetical order. We have already done that in the case of C, C, uh, E, triple S, U. Now, looking at the word success in a dictionary, we will have to do some hard work. Of all the words that can be made using these seven letters, words that start with C or those that start with E will come before those that start with S. Right, so let's count words starting with C first. Remaining letters to be arranged are C, E, triple S and U. First place can be filled in one way. Out of the remaining six letters, three are same. So they can be arranged in six factorial upon three factorial ways, which is equal to 120. Next, we will count words starting with E. Remaining letters are C, C, triple S and U. First place, we have to fill E one way. Out of the remaining six letters, Three are same, two others are same, 
So they can be arranged in six factorial upon three factorial two factorial ways. This calculates to 60. 60 words start with E. Next step, we need to count those words that start with S but have a superior combination than success. So before SU, we will have words starting with SC. How many of them? So once we fill the first two places with S and C respectively, one way and one way, the remaining five letters are C, E, double S and U. They can be arranged in the remaining five places in five factorial upon two factorial ways because two of them are the letter S. They are repeating. Next in the list, there will be words that start with the combination S, E. Out of the remaining five letters, there are many repeating letters. Two are C's, uh, two others are S. So these can be arranged in 5 factorial upon 2 factorial, 2 factorial. That is 30 ways. And let's not forget that the word success has three S's. So there will be words that start with a double S, all of which will come before the word success in a dictionary order. Let's count how many. So once we fix S and S in the first two places, remaining letters are C, C, E, S and U. Out of these, two are C, C and C. So these five letters can be arranged in five factorial upon two factorial ways, which calculates to 60. And finally, we need to consider if there are any words starting with SU, but above success, in alphabetical order. So guys, among all those words that start with S, U, because remaining letters are C, C, E and S, and S and S, which are already in alphabetical order. So what do you infer? Success will be the first word starting with S, U. So let us add up all words that come before success. 120 plus 60 plus 60 plus 30 plus 60 plus 1. The last one is for the word success itself. So rank of the word success will be 331. So that completes our topic. Hope you enjoyed this maths lesson. And let me remind you to press the like button and subscribe our channel. Here is a sneak peek into the contents of our next video. So till then, keep watching and take care. Bye-bye.